Hey, today we making 50-50 burgers, right? That's that beef and that pork. Let's get it. All right, look, so I'm gonna start go ahead and get my ingredients together, right? So this right here, this is my ground pork. Now, you know what? I can barely concentrate. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that right there is noisy as I don't know what. For those of you guys that live out in them uh, country environments, stuff like that, you know that noise that you hear in the background, that little zzz sound, that's, a, uh, that's what we call like some kind of beetle or something like that, right? So I'm gonna do this, try to keep my mind off of it. And again, we said 50-50 pork, beef we getting it okay so look now you see that i got you know my meat inside of here right now it's time to season this is what i'm gonna be using look this is my new burger seasoning you guys can use whatever you have if you don't have this already but i promise you this right here is what's going to take it over the top those of you guys i want to say thank you for everybody that's been copying it right now look this right here is fire now you can use the traditional salt and pepper that does work right now i'm gonna talk about this part right here i don't want to work this meat too heavy you know what I mean? I just want to get my seasoning in the inside of it. You know what I mean? And then as I'm mixing it, when I go to make my patties, I don't want to compact it. You know, you want to keep it a little bit. I don't know the word for it. I call it like arenated or something like that. You don't want to just have it so dense that when you go ahead and put it in your skillet or whatever you're using. Oh, speaking of that, I want you guys to take a look over here. Let me just show this. I'm going to be doing mine on the griddle right here. Hey, if you don't have one of these, that's fine. Cast iron work great. Those of you guys that went out and got that... uh that hex clad that works too but if my tool of choice would be either outside on a griddle number two would be that cast iron number three would be that hex clad all right so look i don't know if this is going to be able to capture it or not look we just want to get it you know mixed in a 50 50 you know ratio right then you just want to divide this up into four you know what i mean now this is going to be a whole lot of well, how can I say it? You know, by having ground pork and we're gonna have ground beef. My ground beef is 80-20, right? So by having all of that, you know what I mean? It's gonna render and be nice and juicy. But we don't wanna make it so, you know, what I'm trying to say is you just don't wanna make it so dense. You know, I see some of these burgers. You ever, you ever made burgers in your backyard or even in your kitchen? You guys pack them so tight, you know what I mean? They just, mm. I don't wanna say nothing bad, you know what I mean? But I'm just, I'm trying to show you guys you just want to get it just to form, you know, a ball, right? Now, I got my griddle coming up to temp. And I got to say this, I would pat myself on the back, but you see my hands is greasy. You know what I mean? But I would just say, man, I got these just about right. Been doing them for years, though, the size and all of that. So I can just about feel them. And, you know, I know they're right. Okay, so now that I got my, man, I hate that. I don't know how to say it, but I got my, my meatballs. You know, I'll do it like that. I got my meatball, meatballs ready, right? So I'm going to put them down right here. Uh, right there is good. That right there is good, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and let it sear just a little bit. You know what I mean? We wanna let it cook. What I'm doing now is you guys can do it all kind of ways. You can actually form your patty the way you want to, but for me, I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of parchment paper, and then I got my press. If you guys take a look, look, got my logo on it, all of that, and you know, my little signature. So I let it stay on for about, you know, 10, 15 seconds, and then I go ahead and give it a press. I'm not really doing smash burgers, you know what I mean? I just want to make them big. Listen, because you know they're going to shrink. My bun is not even probably as big as this, you know, my press, right? So I just leave them like that. Boom, real simple. And so now, listen, I know you guys have been following me. You know what I mean? If you're new to my channel, look, this might look a little strange to you if you don't know nothing about it. Look, we toasting and we using mayo, folks. The yours of you guys out there, we can start that debate too. I love to hear what you guys say. I know now we got to add something to the mayo list, you know what I mean? Because that, that would be that, like that uh, blue ribbon, right? So you can add, uh, you can tell me your favorite is blue ribbon, uh, Dukes, uh, what's the other names? I'm drawing a blank right now. But for me, I live on the West Coast, you know what I mean? And that's right there is, you know, this is what we got. Best foods, you know what I mean? Oh, Hellsman, that's it. Now, take it, put some on here. I want you guys to try it. If you haven't done it, you can talk to me and tell me how you've been doing it. All of that, I love to hear it. We take it, coat it, and check this part out. Take these, couple of these over here, and now we just put them on here. All right, so if you guys wanna know how they toast, look at that right there. That is a perfectly toasted bun. Okay, so look, if you come in here, take a look at this, look at how the meat is. Look, when you got your temperature just right on your grill, griddle, your skillet or whatever, see how it starts to sweat over the top? If you look on the side down here, you can see how it's starting to cook. 
it starts riding up, rising up, right? And then I want you to pay attention. This is the most important thing when you're making a hamburger. Some people be like fooling with it on the bottom. Once it's stuck down there on the bottom like that, I don't mess with it until it's time to flip, right? So after I look at it like that, I can see it is ready. So now I'll go ahead and break the seal underneath the bottom like that, and then I flip. All right, now it's time for me to make my sauce. Now you guys make the sauce that you like. For me, always everything is like mayo based, right? Okay, so mayo, I put just a little bit of that W sauce. We're gonna go with the ketchup, ketchup of your choice, relish, and then listen, you go, oh, I gotta mention that too. You gotta put that uh, French, you know, I use French's, you know, uh, yellow mustard, that's what I like. And then you get the consistency that you want, then you taste. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ingredients, you know what I normally do, I can eyeball it. I've been doing this for years, you know what I mean? Get yourself, you know, a whisk and then whisk it together. Then once you get the consistency you want, now you got your homemade, you know, burger sauce, right? All right, so once you got your consistency that you want, look, these are all my bottom buns, right? I don't know how you guys like to do it. I like to always ask for extra sauce, right? So I've been using this and making this for years. When I say years, I don't really want to date myself with no number, but I'm gonna just say it's been a couple of decades. I'll just leave it like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you the real level up. And if you guys want me to make a video on what I'm getting ready to show you, you know, just let me know, right? And here come them Beatles again, right on time when you push record. Okay, so look, this is the true level up, right? For those of you guys that know what this is, you can see it, it calls out his name, right? And if you don't know, let me introduce you to Bacon Jam. Now, I add this like this. Trust me, folks. Listen, I can't just always make something that's traditional. You know, I'll show you how I do it. And then I'll always add my little spin to it too, right? So we'll just add some of this Bacon Jam. And look at the consistency. When I say jam, look at it. Talk to me. Yeah, that's right, I'm popping my collar because that's right there. That right there is fire, folks. You can hear it in my voice. All right, and we come underneath the bottom. Take it like this. Whew, look at that, folks. Hey, check it out, folks. I'm finna show you something that I normally don't do. It's all about like, you know, preparing this, making it look the best it can be, and then showing you guys so you guys click on them thumbnails, right? But I'm gonna move this out the way. You see this right here? Somebody had to stop me. And don't forget, I made four of those. One is already gone. I had to like hold up right here. And this one right here, I was about to knock off. Somebody had to remind me like, hey, it's an intro. But you want to know what the real level of it is right here? That's it right there. Don't forget, I call this bacon jam, right? It's not just me. A lot of people make this. You know what I mean? But when I say jam, if that don't say jam to y'all, I don't know what does. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this bite and be traditional. But I can just tell you this. Listen, if it ain't flashing already on the uh, screen right now, ain't no flames, we be doing you an injustice. If you never had no 50-50 burger with this bacon jam and then you made your homemade dressing too, cheers. So if you guys want to know how to make this bacon jam, let me know down in the comment section below. I get enough people talking about it, I'll make that video. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take the time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, look, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. I'm not finna walk off because I'm finna take me down, take down one of these other burgers. I'm just gonna hit you with this. Peace.